In our previous video, Intro to Final Cut Pro, we got you up and running as an editor quickly. We showed you the basic workflow from bringing in your media to editing on the timeline. They say a little preparation goes a long way. This is true in Final Cut Pro 10 as well. Investing and in organizing your media in the beginning stages of making your project will help you be more efficient when you are looking for your assets during the editing process. If you don't already have it, download the free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro by clicking the link in the description. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to show you some of the ways you can organize and sort your media and events in Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut, there are a few different ways to achieve the same results. For our tutorial, we will show you a couple different ways to organize your media. This will get you started quickly and efficiently in organizing the workflow. Organizing media already in your project. Select your library. Go to the clip appearance icon or film icon and select it. Go to group by and click the pull down menu. A variety of different options appear. For the purpose of this tutorial, Select File Type. Media will now be grouped by file type, such as audio, image, and movie files. Click Sort By. Notice the variety of sort options and order, such as ascending and descending. Click on Name. There is an option to show waveforms should there be sound in the video. Click the Waveforms checkbox to enable waveforms where applicable. Toggle the contents of the browser between film strip and list view by toggling the clip display button. Click the disclosure triangles to hide or display the files in the header. To change thumbnail size and duration, you must be in film strip view. Select clip appearance. The first slider is adjust clip height. Move back and forth to resize the thumbnails. The second slider is called the duration slider meaning as you drag to the right side, you'll notice the time duration decreasing. Doing this increases the number of thumbnails in the video clips in your browser, showing more detail of your clip. Each thumbnail represents the time shown on the right. These controls will help you find the content you want in your clip faster. To reset these options anytime, select Library Name, select Clip Appearance icon, then select Group By None. Use the Shift-Z shortcut to fit all the clips back in the browser. Rating Clips in Final Cut We showed you in the intro video how to bring down clips and edit them in the timeline. Another workflow is to rate your clips in the browser. Then bring those portions of the clips into the timeline. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am using a new project with an empty timeline. Hover over one of your video clips. Select a range by dragging across a clip or using the I and O keys for in and out. Go to Mark Menu. In the second row, you'll see Favorite, Reject, and Unrate. You'll also see Keyword Editor. That is a subject that we will cover a little later in this lesson. To save some time, you can learn the keyboard shortcuts for rating clips. Favorite is F key. These are the clips or parts of the clip you want to use in your project. Reject is Delete key. These are the clips or parts of a clip you don't want to use in your project. Unrate is the U key. This clears your selection. Select Favorite and click. A green line goes across the clip range you selected. Go to another part of the clip, select it, and hit the Delete button. A red line goes across the clip range you selected. Select a few different clips or other sections of a clip. Rate some of them as favorite and some as reject. Filtering clips. Go up to where it says all clips. This is the filter pop-up menu. Click on the menu and you'll see specific filtering options. Select favorites. All the clips with the green line are shown. Select rejected. All the clips with the red line are shown. Go back to the All Clips selection. Click on a green line on the clip. The clip is selected. Move the clip to the timeline either by dragging or by using the keyboard shortcut. Add another favorite clip to the timeline. Go back up to the filter pop-up menu. 
Click and select Unused or Control U. This shows all the media that hasn't been used in your project. Click and select All Clips or Control C to bring back the All Clips setting. You have just put together the start of your timeline by using Favorites and Clip Ratings. Name the project whatever you like. For the purpose of this tutorial, I named my project Project 2. Congratulations! You are now on your way to becoming a Final Cut Pro Power Editor. Advanced Media Organization. We are briefly going to cover some advanced user-created workflow searches. Keywords. Creating and applying keywords is another way to organize your clips. Clips with keywords applied to them show up in the event, allowing you to easily find them. You can also search for keywords in the search fields. To add a keyword to a clip, select an event that contains multiple video clips. Select a clip in the browser. Click the Keyword Editor button, or Command K. Keywords for selection box appears. Type Movies in the Keyword box. Press Enter. A blue line has been added to your selected clip, indicating a keyword has been applied. Select another clip. Type We Make in the Keyword box. Press Enter. As you enter in keywords, the words start filling up the keyword shortcuts. You can use the corresponding keyboard shortcut to add those keywords to your clips. Go to your sidebar and toggle the event you selected open. You now have a keyword collection icon. Clips that have keywords applied are viewable in this location. A clip can have multiple keywords applied to it in addition to having a range selection with a keyword applied to the selected range. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to do both things at once. Select a clip from the movie's keyword collection. Drag a selection in part of the clip. Click on the range selection. Drag the selection to the We Make Keyword collection. The selected range is now in the We Make Keyword Collection. Enable skimmer info to see keywords and other information of a clip in the browser when skimming a clip. Go to View, select Browser, then select Skimmer Info or Control Y. You can disable seeing skimmer info by using the shortcut Control Y. Smart Collections. In your library, there is a folder called Smart Collections. These are the advanced search filters based on custom search criteria. Smart Collections allow you to quickly find media from these search results and save them for continuous use. Each library contains a default folder of common Smart Collection searches. Click on the Smart Collection folder disclosure triangle to expand the folder. You will see five gear icons with labels such as All Video, Audio Only, etc. Select the project's gear icon. All of the projects in the library are shown. Select the Audio Only gear icon. All of your audio files in your library are shown. Double click any of the default smart collections to view the filter heads up display and see how the search parameters are applied. You can create and save your own smart collections, allowing you to easily sort and find the media based on a variety of filters. For the purpose of this tutorial, select three different clips total from your library. Name these clips, We Make Movies. Select the Smart Collections folder. Right click and select New Smart Collection or Option Command N. An untitled smart collection is created. Rename the smart collection We Make Movies Search. Double click the We Make Movies Search gear icon to bring up the filter window. Here, you can start adding in custom search parameters to customize your search. Click the plus icon. This brings up the search criteria fields. Select text. A text search filter is created. Type in the include search box We Make Movies. Press enter. Close the filter window. Your custom search shows all the media that matches your search parameters. Conclusion. As a filmmaker, we want to get right into creating our video to get our project out for the world to see. 
Organizing your media is a very important step of the editing process. Take the time at the beginning to organize your media with these techniques. With your media organized, you will become a faster and more efficient editor. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut Pro, check out the next tutorial in this series here. And if you're curious about everything Final Cut Pro has to offer, but you still haven't tried it, you can check it out free for 90 days using the link below.